97. Buzzing on that beat. Oh, I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. I'm different, yeah, I'm different. I'm different, yeah, I'm different. Lambo, vent the door, spend half a million. Car wheezy, mixtape, got no ceilings. Floss like a dentist, numb to a bitch, no feelings. Lot of bad bitches and my niggas still be tripping. OGs got old clips like Lord Willing. Let the gas squeeze like fresh lemons. Old money, but I need more like Demi. Raw like Eddie, keep a sidekick, send me shit bang. You going dumb, I'm going Timmy. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Garrett here. And today I'm going to be talking about like frogging tips, techniques, um, how to rig them, what types of frogs, um, and stuff like that. So I'll start off like with the frogs I fish. Well, I fish a little, these are just the frogs I have on me right now. I have a little more frogs than these. So right now I've got, standing, I fish some standing rivets. Those work pretty good. Um, just. That color, um, I'll fish a zoom horny toad. Should work out pretty good. Or like hollow body frogs, I'll fish a blue pad, pad crusher, some leopard frog colors, two and a half inch, half ounce. Oh, I trim the skirt down, that's one um, thing you can do. And so when you trim the skirt down, all you pretty much do is you take a pair of scissors, the skirt was like down to right here on these. So you just take a pair of scissors and you chop it down. It makes it so it's it's an easy, a little bit easier to walk. Um, or I'll fish sometimes. Uh, this just like a little frog I picked up at Sports Chalet. It's like a something head super frog or something like that. So when you pop it, legs kick out like that. It litter. It pretty much looks like a frog going across the water. This is in um. So a bigger size, I have a couple sizes of those. Um, so here's a, another tip for this, is for like, you just go down to your local dicks or sports show or anything, and you can get like a little pack of BBs. I have a pellet gun. So these are just regular BBs from um, my day, for a daisy pellet gun I have. Um, so what you can do, is you can find an opening I'm not really going to put them in, but you can find an opening, say, say back here where the hook goes, and you just, you know, slide them in there, and it makes a rattling noise, so you have a rattling frog. I'm not going to put them in, because they're a little bit harder to get out, so you can trim the skirt down, um, and sharpen your hooks, um, you can bend your hooks out a little bit. So they're kind of bent up, and that will give you more percentage of hookups. So now I'll show you how to rig them. This is just a zoom torrent horny toe five watt spring hot cut. I'll just do it with a Stanley ribbit. So you just um, you just thread the nose of the frog onto the spring. That locks in place, and you measure up where that frog's gonna, where that hook's gonna sit. So this is gonna be towards the back. Then you pull it out. It's just this is just pretty much like a Texas rig for a frog. That's pretty much what it is, except you're using a spring hook, and then. So you got it like that. Some people, some people leave it like this, or you can tuck it into the bait like that. So then you have your frog. And one tip you can do with these is you can stretch the legs out. Um. So. Um. So that works out too. Um. So the equipment I use for frogging is I use a 50 pound braid, moss green braid, like I said a 5 out hook, um, this is a 7 one to one lose speed spool um, reel, and this is a 7-3 um, 
um, Bob Black Carrot Stick, medium heavy, um, and this rod is just great for frogging. It's got it's got a little bit it's got a little bit of a softer tip for frogging, but it's also um, it's also um, you can also fish like a cinco on it, or you can like flip with it. It's got great backbone. It's got um, Fuji guides, so this is just a great rod for frogging. So that's pretty much what I do for frogging. Um, when I'm frog fishing, I don't typically go out for open water unless I know like there's a mat of vegetation like six inches beneath the water or something. Um, I'll typically throw a frog in like lilies or like uh, mat like mats above the water. Sometimes I'll throw them in brush. Um, um, cattails sometimes. Um, sometimes I'll throw them under, like, just under trees, where they're, sh where they're in the shade, or I'll work the shoreline, even if there is no, like, vegetation, I'll just work the shoreline. Um, sometimes I'll even, like, when I'm just messing around, I won't even fish this on top water, I'll fish this, like, six inches below the water, and I've gotten a few strikes on that, I mean, I've gotten a few fish on that, pretty good size fish, too. Um, that's pretty much what I do with uh, for frog fishing. Uh, other frogs that I use are the Stank X frogs by Stank X Bait Company. Um, or I'll use, um, the Dragon Baits. Um, I'll use the Dragon Baits, uh, their topwater frog, their hollow body frog. And, uh... That's pretty much what I'll do. Thanks hey guys, what's up? So I was out here fishing, and I just got my the first frog fish of the 2013 season. I haven't been really frog fishing much, so it's kind of late. But nice solid, nice solid bass, probably two, close to three, probably. So yeah.